On another topic, despite strong opposition from the NRA in the last legislative session, you voted yes for a gun control bill that closed the so-called boyfriend loophole. That upset Oregon conservatives who were strong supporters of the Second Amendment. Can you help us understand why you voted for that? Yeah, listen, there's a lot of emotion around this issue, and there should be on, on both sides. Uh, uh, but I, 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 I'm a strong supporter of the Second Amendment. Uh, always received in my past elections that A rating from the NRA. But I also realize that we have a problem, not only in the state, but in the country country with gun related violence uh, and we have to address it. Now, do I think it's going to be solved just with uh, with gun measures? No, absolutely not. But there are some common sense gun laws like closing the boyfriend loophole. And the reason I voted for that is because an astounding 80 percent of women and children in Oregon who are murdered are murdered by a domestic abuser. So if you're really going to have impact keeping guns out of the hands of convicted Importantly, convicted domestic abusers is what we want to do. But that's just not going to be enough. We also have to improve our mental health system. We have to bring more resources into our schools, like more mental health counselors, more school resource officers. We have to harden the surroundings of our schools so people just can't walk in. And importantly, we need more resources in our law enforcement uh, so that they have high quality radio so they can communicate. And importantly, the background check system actually works in keeping guns out of people who shouldn't have it, you know, prior felons or, or those who are mentally ill. Would you support raising the age to buy a gun to 21? Yeah, I think that's a reasonable thing. There, there are reasonable gun control options, gun safety options. So increasing to 21 years of age, uh, outlawing bump stocks, those are types of common sense. Things. What about but a ban on assault rifles? Yeah, I'm not for that or IP 43 or 44. I'm, I'm completely against that. I think that's a reach too far to go and take guns away from law abiding citizens who are doing the right things and following the law. And in that situation, uh, law abiding citizens would be hurt and criminals would still have access How about to those arming guns. teachers? So uh, I don't think arming te teachers is a good idea, but what I do think is a good idea is architecturally hardening schools so people just can't walk in without a security clearance and importantly have more school resource officers so when we do have one of these incidents they can respond very quickly.